Hello, welcome to my channel, Andrew Luis TV. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thank you for my more than 2,000 subscribers. Keep watching my vlogs. Greetings here in historic Jamestown, present day Williamsburg, Virginia. Now watch this. So here is a marker of Captain John Smith. Captain John Smith was born about 1580, the son of a human farmer of modest means. As a young man, he traveled throughout Europe and fought as a soldier in the Netherlands and in Hungary. There he was captured, taken to Turkey, and sold into slavery in Russia. He murdered his master, escaped, and journeyed back to Hungary to collect a promised reward of money and coat of arms. He returned to England in time to participate in the settlement of Virginia. He was an arrogant and boastful man, often tackled and sometimes brutal. Physically strong and worldly wise, he made an excellent settler. However, his personality, his obvious qualifications, and his low social position infuriated many of the colonist leaders and settlers. Despite this, he was named to the first council. In May 1607, he learned the Indian's language and became the colony's principal Indian trader. During the summer of 1608, he led a 3,000 mile expedition in an open boat to explore and map Chesapeake Bay and its principal rivers. On September 10, 1608, the council elected him governor of Virginia for a one year term. He was an able leader who understood what the Indians and the settlers' needs and the colony prospered. Captain Smith returned to England in October 1609 to follow in an accidental gunpowder burn and became Virginia's most effective propagandist and historian. His true relation of Virginia 1608, map of Virginia 1612, and general history of Virginia 1624 presented the colony as Smith understood it. In 1614, he made a short voyage to New England where he explored and mapped the coast from Cape Cod to Maine. Smith returned to England and never visited Virginia again, never married and never received the recognition he thought he deserved. He died June 21, 1631, and was buried in St. Sepulchre's Church in London. Okay, so, Captain John Smith statue here, as first governor of Virginia. Made in bronze. Okay. He is overlooking the James River behind me, and this is a good sight to see the sunset here. Here in the port of James. Let me take a selfie. Okay, let's look around and explore this rich archaeological and historical site. There's another marker here, but well, it's the same, the Palisades. So they reconstruct the Palisades, which protected the fort from the outside natural and physical forces. So this is part of the structures they reconstructed, which is part of the Fort James or James Fort. This is the barracks. This interpretation of a Madden stud structure was made possible by generous donation from the Jamestown Society. Okay, so this is a, a partly reconstructed barracks of the English settlers. The barracks here, there's a marker here. Look at there, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II tours James Port with Dr. William Kelso in 2007. So, Queen Elizabeth visited James Port. As the picture shows, So there's a picture that barracks looks like this, something like that. But they can only picture and reconstruct little of what remains of this site.
and it might not be the original these are some of the cannon they used to fortify Fort James or James Fort here and they are still continuing the excavational archaeological research here and they are still unearthing excavating this historical and archaeological site okay so this is really a big place this james fort or the first permanent english colony this is also the former Powhatan american indian territory okay here some of the historical account of Jamestown. John Rob, Virginia tobacco planter and secretary of the colony of Virginia, documented the 69 arrival of the first African Solani in Virginia at nearby Old Point Comfort, present day Hampton. So the colonizers, the first colonizers in 1619 brought the, the African slaves here. Remember John Rob married Pocahontas and he is a very a rich tobacco planter and also the secretary a leader of the jamestown council virginia assembly look there's a rainbow over there Okay, the rainbow. There's a saying, at the end of the rainbow, there's a path of gold. So this archaeological site of historic Jason is the gold that we have found. This gold that we have found at the end of the rainbow, at the end of our journey from Northern Virginia here to the south of Virginia. I hope you're enjoying my channel please continue watching my blog and subscribe if you haven't subscribed by hitting the right bottom of your desktop screen so also at Jason there's a marker here that there's a warehouse a trade between the settlers and among the settlers here whatever they they can trade here and remember they found the tobacco leaves here in Virginia and you know tobacco is part of the it's a luxury commodity and leisure Europeans or the English imported here in the New England or the new the colonies so they're very expensive at that time even now cigarettes tobacco are expensive because of taxes Okay, behind me again is the Memorial Church, an Anglican church where the first General Assembly met, the first assembly of the state of Virginia, of the colony of the United States. Here is the statue of Pocahontas. Okay, and let me take a selfie of Pocahontas later. So there's a marker here. Erected in 1922, the statue by William Orwell Partridge honors Pocahontas, the favorite daughter of Paramount Chief Wahon Sinako, better known as Pohatan, ruler of the Pohatan Paramount Chiefdom. Pocahontas was born around 1595, probably at Werowokomoko, 15 miles from Jamestown. In 1608, she made frequent and welcome visits to Jamestown, often bringing gifts of food from her father, Captain John Smith, believed she saved his life twice during the colony's first years. 
In April of 1613, Captain Argal kidnapped Pocahontas and brought her to Jamestown. While a hostage, she received lessons in Christianity, converted, and was baptized. Her marriage to John Rolfe in April 1614 at the Jamestown Church helped establish peaceful relations between the Powhatan and colonies. In 1616, she visited England with Rolfe and their infant son Thomas and was presented to the royal court. She died on March 21, 1617 and was buried in St. George's Church in Gravesend, England. Today, many Americans claim descent from her son and granddaughter. Okay, so this is the bronze statue of Pocahontas here in Jamestown. Let me take a selfie of Pocahontas. from the foot of the James River and James Fort lies inner outskirt of the Fohatan Forest. The Fohatan territory is a deep forest or jungle as you see here. And then this footbridge connects the museum to the archaeological site here in historic Jamestown. Thank you for watching my blog. Greetings from historic Jamestown here in Jameson Island, present day Williamsburg, Virginia. This is Andrew Lewis TV. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And thank you for my more than 2,000 subscribers. YOLO. Remember, you only live once. See you soon.